Hey YouTube, um, I want to make a video about my turtle incubator and how to do it. Um, so first off, you're going to need turtle eggs or snake eggs may work. The setup might be different with snake eggs. But, uh, so anyway, you're going to need like a cooler. Mine's like a foot long, doesn't really look like, like, look like it. Um, you're going to need a heater, like a water submergible, fully submergible water heater. Um, turn up as high as you can go. You're gonna want. Now I'll just open it for you. I am hatching painted turtle eggs. One there. One there. Two there. One there. Um. So once you do that, you're gonna want to put. So let me just take this out. So, you're going to want your cooler, you're going to put some water in there, maybe like an inch or two. You're going to put your heater in there, crank it up as high as it can go. Um, hold on. And then you're going to let that sit for a little while. You want it as airtight as possible. Uh, so, yeah. And then this thing's just like a four separator, which I thought would work perfectly. And it did, or it does. Um... I do not I do not know if this works or not, but he's, as you can see, it's humid. It's really humid in there because it's like water is forming on like the sides um, of it in there too. You can't really see it though. So you don't want like a I don't know. I got this. It was like a food separator, kind of like disposable. What I kept it for this, and you're gonna get it, your turtle legs or whatever kind of egg put one in each, but I actually had five, not four, so I put two in there. Um, you're going to put some tissues, not dirt, tissues in there, because that'll keep it nice and moist in there. So once you do that, and then your water should be ready. So then you're just going to place it in your water. Oh, and don't drill holes in the bottom. I accidentally did, and I had to patch those up. And you can put some holes in like the sides. Yeah. So you're going to put that back in, right above the water heater so everything gets heated up really good. Um, and then you're just going to close the lid on your thing, on your cooler, and it should stay pretty airtight. I'm using the Little Playmate by Igloo. Um, doesn't really matter what color, kind of cooler you use. I like this one because it keeps it more airtight than other kinds. Um, t if anybody in the comments could tell me how long it actually takes for a turtle egg to hatch, that'd be great. A painted turtle, I think it's a western, or eastern, I think it's a western, I don't know. Uh, that'd be great. And I'll just show you my tank for my turtles. Just move that back. This is my turtle tank. I got a filter right there. Um, oh my god, four radio sliders are all hiding under there right now. One's coming out right over there. Um, here, I'll feed them so you can see real quick. Just give me a second. Probably gonna keep one. Rest I will release into the wild. But let me just drop some food. I already fed them like a few seconds ago, so I might not eat. Yeah, they don't even know it's there. big one and has some that eats a lot. Um, I got a heat bulb, got a turtle dock, shallow water area, a cave, it's got some suckerfish. Um, had them all for a week now, about like, oh actually like three weeks, three weeks a while, eating good. Um, I used the Fluker's clamp lamp, works pretty good. Um, 
Oh, sorry about that. Well, that was just a video on my turtle incubator egg thing, kind of how to make it. Might work for snakes, I'm not sure. Um, it's real humid in there and it gets really warm, so that's good. And thank you. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.